Hey guys, what's up? This is Christian and welcome to Lovebound. Um, some of you guys have been requesting that I do an episode on unrequited love. In other words, uh, rejection. Like you love someone that doesn't love you back. And I use the word love loosely because I don't always think it is love. It could just be infatuation or you're just like admiring someone or have feelings for someone but it's not necessarily, you know, love yet because you might not even know the person. And I've definitely experienced this several times in my life. I've been rejected by three women, uh, the three women I have pursued. And um, it hurt so much every single time. Two of them rejected me twice. <laughs> so um, it was very painful for me. And I just realized a lot of things about me because when I got rejected, and some of these girls I didn't even know that well, um, I, just, I would just get depressed. and. That just wasn't good. That told me that something is not quite right here. And I just realized there were all these lies that I was believing about myself and about my future marriage. You know, you, when you get rejected, there's sometimes these lies like, oh, I will never find anyone or, you know, God doesn't have the best for me will start creep in there or there's something wrong with me. I mean, why did she reject me? It has to be something wrong with me. And all of those are just lies. I'm telling you, it's not true because God really has the best for you. And if you like someone that doesn't have the same value for you as you have for them, then it's really not worth your time because you want to be with someone who has the same value for you as you have for them. It has to be a mutual thing. You can't try and convince anyone to love you. Like I've tried to do that and it just doesn't work. It's, it's just, it's not natural. <laughs> And I still believe that that's the way it's supposed to be. It's, you know, two people that really want to be together with each other. So if you have problems with that right now, if you're feeling pain from rejection, then, I mean, I know it sucks. And especially if you're a very sensitive person like I am, it, it really hurts. Um, but if you truly believe that God has the best for you and that He... Um, is for you in every way and he's for your future marriage because he really is then I'm not I'm not so sure it's even possible to feel uh, unrequited love now it, it will be it's a bummer if you, you like someone like let's say you like a girl and you ask her out you know you really want to get to know her and she's like not interested uh, yeah it hurts you know it's definitely a bummer but at least you know so don't be afraid of taking the risk you know I mean Ask the girl out, whatever it is, because if she says no, then you know, you don't have to think about it, like I've done a lot in the past, and we'll talk more about that in future episodes. Uh, I think this topic is it's quite a big one, so uh, it's probably going to take more than one episode, and I definitely have a lot of experience in this area. Um, so yeah, just be really confident that God has the best for you, and uh, yeah, don't be afraid of taking risks. It, it really is worth it, because at least you'll know. Um, and if you have questions about this topic, then free, feel free to email me at uh, loveboundchristian at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you, and we'll talk more about this next time. See you guys.